Listen, listen, AOC. Pelosi, she's gone. Right? I'm 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 in charge. And if you play ball, we can do a lot of things. I can't make any promises right now. Right? But just work with me. Trust me. And together we can do a lot of things. But I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not I'm not going to tolerate any kind of back and forth and division of the party. Right? As a divided party, we can't do much. So don't worry about I know the stuff that that you care about. We we going to get to it. We going to get just be patient. Right? If we don't get it done now, you know, we'll get it done later. Just just take my word for it. Just keep your heads down. Go with the party and what we're talking about, the message we're putting out. I sent you guys all emails on the talking points. Right? Just follow the talking points. I'm not trying to control what you do. You're all independent people. You 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 can think for yourselves, but I'm just saying Things be a lot easier for you if you just go along with the program and trust us that in due time we will do things. It will take, you know, a little bit by bit, brick by brick, we'll build we'll build on something. Right? Just 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 again, just trust just trust us and, and, and we got this. But I'm not any of this like defund the police and all this extreme rhetoric, like that's over with. That's a way. If 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 I hear any of that noise coming from any of you guys in the squad, I'm coming for you. I'm telling you right now, I'm coming for you. It's not gonna be nice. Right? As the speaker of the house, you guys know what that means in terms of the amount of power I can make things happen, or I can be an obstacle. I think if you're smart. You want me to be your ally, not your enemy. Not a threat, just a suggestion. All right, and I know I said we're going to have this be a dialogue, but I'm not really interested in hearing anything from you guys at this point. I'm just, let, let that marinate, what I just told you guys. And if, you know, you have some questions, I have an open door policy, but I'm not really interested in entertaining a, a back and forth right now. I know sometimes pe people speak before they think, so... Let that marinate, and then all you guys, you guys come to me, have any questions, uh, I have an open door policy. I'm very busy, obviously, so you have to keep that in mind. All right. Do you think there might have been a meeting kind of like that that went down between Hakeem Jeffries and the squad, you know, telling them where their place is and, uh, you know, Letting them know, like, who's the boss, right? Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if it was such a, a similar conversation that was had with Pelosi, which would explain partially why you see the initial fight, and then they get quiet and more quiet over time. And then any fight you see is all theatrical. Anytime there's a guarantee that a fight won't result in anything it's based on votes or whatever it is that's when you see a fight whenever there's a chance that if they actually took action they could actually get something right you have a thin margin your votes are needed so you could use that as leverage every time there's an opportunity like that there's an excuse why that's not done every single time Every single time. So, I really think that there are these conversations that happen behind the scenes between the so-called squad and leadership. Previously Pelosi and now Hakeem Jeffries. And the decision is made by the squad members to choose career over the people. But that's just my conspiracy theory. Could be wrong, wouldn't be the first time.
This is Baby Channel. Debate me in the comment section below. Click on the like button. Subscribe. Smash that bell. Be well.